In today's video, we're going to be talking about sound dampening mats. It's basically a material that helps you quiet down the inside of your vehicle. Now, it's not uncommon for manufacturers to use this when they produce a vehicle. In fact, this is a 2001 F-350, and you can see on the floorboards there is some sound dampening material. They typically don't do the entire floor because, well, it's not cost effective. In areas like the roof, there's typically a headliner. That also stops a lot of that sound. You still get a drum effect like that, but the headliner has a little bit of sound dampening characteristics to it, so they can get by with not using it everywhere. But if you want to quiet it down even more than a manufacturer, you can certainly add more sound dampening material yourself. We're going to use a product called Kill Mat, and I found it on Amazon. I will put a link down below if you're interested in. Kill Mat comes in a couple of different thicknesses. You can get it in a 50 mil, which is what I bought, and you can also buy it in an 80 mil, which it will help a little bit more. The differences between the two I really didn't think was going to be significant enough for me, but if you're looking for that ultimate quiet car, then you might want to go ahead and pay for the 80 mil. Providing you can get to all the areas in your vehicle where you want to install the kill mat, then it actually installs pretty easily. In my scenario, I've actually removed the entire floor because I'm kind of restoring this truck. Basically, the way it works is it's quite simple. It kind of adds a little more mass and it takes some of the vibrations out so you don't get that drum effect. It has an adhesive backing and it has some indicators on the top which you need to kind of pay attention to. There are little air bubbles throughout the entire sheet and you need a good roller to kind of press this down and activate it. So I bought some little steel rollers from Amazon here. These are perfect. There's three different sizes so you can get them in different areas. You apply it to the areas that you want to try to quieten down and you just roll it out until all these little bubbles are flattened out. Installing is just super simple. You peel off the backing, you put it in place, and you take your roller and you just start rolling. Every time you roll across those little indicator bubbles, they kind of pop and that lets you know that you've rolled over the top of them. You need to roll every square inch of this mat to make it stick properly. Trimming is pretty easy. You can just either trim after you apply it and all you have to do is cut off the very top aluminum surface layer and then peel it out of there. Or you can trim it before you put it down, but I prefer just to do it this way and you just peel it out and you're good to go. A good indicator of how well it's working is before and after, and you can see it kind of just deadens the sound, but if you hit a piece that doesn't have any on it, it's like a drum. Now you can get crazy detailed with this stuff and you can literally put it on every surface. The manufacturer tells you that if you put it on the big primary surfaces, that alone will reduce the sound significantly. So I was able to put it on the floor and on the back and I do have it on the ceiling as you see it. I did put a couple of pieces up front where the manufacturer's matting was. I just left it as is, and that left me with eight pieces, which will be perfect for the doors. The skin of the doors is also like a big drum, so if you can put some of this on the inside of that skin, it'll make a huge difference as well. Eight sheets should be plenty for that. And then the box that is 50 millimeter, there is 50 square feet, and that gives you 47 sheets. If you buy the 80 millimeter, it's a little less in the box because, well, they're accommodating for the thickness of the sheets, so it will not go as far, and you may need two boxes. These tools are an absolute must. There is three different sizes and you need to cover every square inch of this stuff with a roller as tight as you can. If you do not do that it won't adhere properly and it also won't dampen the sound efficiently. It really needs to be pressed down as flat as you can get it. I will put a link to these guys and the kill mat down below in case you're interested. I bought them both on Amazon. In an upcoming video we're going to install a rubber flooring. We've removed all of the carpet obviously and we don't want to put carpet back into this truck because well it's a work truck. We want something that's going to hold up to mud and debris and grease so we've decided to install a rubber floor mat. LMC makes a molded one that is for this specific truck and that's what we purchased. So like and subscribe so you can see how that installs. Don't forget to take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.